What is it good for? Absolutely nothing. Say it again. War. All right, everybody. It's a special, special bonus, bonus, bo -bo 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 bonus episode of Allow Me to Be Frank. We are here at Exo Taco, home of hot stuff, hot sauce. Of course, use promo code uh, Tank10 and any offer at hotstuffsauce.com to get 10% off your order. The best hot stuff, so hot sauce you can get. Hot, you see, you know, looking for some hot stuff, baby, this evening. I need some hot stuff, baby, right now. Baby, I need some hot stuff, baby, this evening. Gonna get some hot stuff, gonna get it right now. Yes, and it's a bonus episode. Mets just finished her, uh, but by the time you see this, Mets will be finished her West Coast trip. We're hanging out in Syracuse, recording this on uh, Saturday, uh, just before the meet and greet. And uh, of course, there's a lot of highlights. We watched the Syracuse Mets uh, play their worst game of the year. Uh, Ronnie Mauricio fouled the ball of his knee, uh, so he was hobbled the rest of the game. Uh, we watched this guy, Humberto Mejia, who really was a bum. I mean, uh, the Mets can't afford another injury or anything else to their pitching staff right now. It's a, it's a total mess. Thankfully, Joey Lucchese was really good yesterday. Uh, and uh, he was just here in Syracuse. Uh, and if Joey Lucchese continues to pitch like that, he will not be coming back to Syracuse. How was your uh, day so far today? I didn't really see much of you today. We did a little radio thing this morning. Yeah, I did a little radio yell thing. I did a hot dog review, which will be coming out. Uh, who knows when? I got so many of them in the can. Okay. And how, how did that go? How was that? Inter was your interaction with people good at the hot dog, at the, uh, hot dog place? Well, someone told me the, 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 the be careful, there are kids here. No, he didn't, he didn't say be careful. He said, hey, there's kids here. Well, why, why would a guy say that? Randomly? Well, I, I just heard that the, I, I, I heard the news of the Derrick Henry trade, and I was like, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> no. It was, fuck! <laughs> are you fucking kidding me? Everybody turned. Every person turned. I like how in your mind there's a quiet little whisper like It's the oh. opposite. That's that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Everybody else, oh Scott Van Pelt is it's yeah. spinning right now. He's yeah. laughing when Scott Van Pelt's probably at home show. Well here's uh, the Mets, of course. We're watching the uh, start of the uh, third game of the series and uh, of course uh, David Peterson's on the mound, can't find home plate. Now the you know, fielders are throwing the ball around like it's fucking hot potato. Speaking of hot potato, I love the hat. Yeah, the uh, salt potatoes. Uh, I mean, what was, what type of throw was this? I mean, this looked like, uh, this looked like, just like, Keystone Cops out there. Now, I've heard a lot about this hot sauce since we've been here. Everyone says it's great. I always, I'm a, don't do I'm this. a, don't I'm do a skeptical don't do guy, I'm a guy that do. walks around, I have a lot of questions in my head, I'm thinking like, how hot could it be? I mean, I don't know, it sounds hot, I don't know. So Mikey, was so nice, Mikey, I don't know if you heard it before the show, was like, I will drink the hot sauce to they, prove how hot it is. They don't know. Which is he, very nice. He doesn't know. I just chugged like a whole bunch of hot sauce stuff before you came here, so I can't do it right now. And I did it yesterday, so. So you're not gonna do it for the nice people I'll watching it right now. There you go. All right, so we have a lot of hot sauces here. The, uh, we'll We'll start off the, the soft side is the jalapeno, very soft and sweet. Chihuahua. <laughs> Bomb stuff? Is this that's, two, the two one, five. that's the one I chugged yesterday. One. I did the Carolina one. That's so this is, oh. all right, this is the one that's already open. This is the uh, Red Hot Love. How, how much is that? This is chili. chili. Look at this, Frank. Five out of five flaming hearts. Shoot. Here you Don't go. Fuck yourself. Jesus. <laughs> this, this kid's here. So the rest of is here. Hey, this kid's hey, here. Kid's here. <laughs> I, I can only imagine what he says in front of his children. Oh, <laughs> yeah. oh, oh, horrible things. Horrible, horrible things. things. He's probably right. a very nice parent. No, probably no, not. Yeah, yeah. No, no, he looked like a dickhead. Yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, Get off my lawn kind of guy. And, it was, and, and uh, we were at a place where it was basically lined out the door. And, Oh, it's a busy place? Oh, yeah. How long did you have to wait to get out of uh, About 20 minutes. Oh, my God. Wow. And uh, I think it's because uh, there's a definite bereft of hot dogs here in Syracuse. We, we tried to find a second place and uh, couldn't find one. So you think there's like a hot dog drought here? Like, what's happening? Yeah, well, I mean, we, read, uh, we went looking for a place called Frank's. We went around the park where they were supposed to be and they weren't there. Uh, there's another one that said Tall Paul, and uh, there was no address to it, so it tells me that it was uh, not a real place. Mm. Maybe it's just a guy at home who makes good hot dogs. <laughs> he's just scared to give out his address? Like, yeah, he's a guy, he's a guy. Hey, call me. Yeah. I'll give you the address 
whatever you need. Um, hey, last week you hey, called you me five six. Hey, you know what? Uh, yeah. You called me five six. Hold on. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm not five six. Yeah, right, right. Okay. Well, we'll stay up. We'll see. Yeah. It's not that right. And you're. <laughs> see, so uh, <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna get really tired of you. What a surprise! <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're yeah, right. That's what I thought. All right, All right, so here we go. We're gonna start with a little first chunk of the hot hot sauce. Uh, Red Hot Love Chili Reaper. Fuck you, Clemmer. Okay. <laughs> this case here. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, it's hot. I guess I was wrong. I guess it is hot. I can't throw up. Oh here. boy, shut up. I can't think. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, well, Mike found a. Yeah, uh, uh, speaking about kids, uh, we found that uh, we had to. Oh, be, oh, be, oh, oh, be careful, Frank. Oh, yeah. <laughs> be, be, yeah. Might be a friend. Yeah, oh, really, yesterday, Mike? Yesterday, yesterday I was berated, teased, yeah. tortured by um, a little kid. Um, That's true. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Shout out his parents. Shout out to uh, uh, the Hot Stuff Hot Sauce as well. Um, his nephew. He's he's got some gonads. I'll tell you that. Uh, definitely dropped earlier than you thought. He knows how to make content. He was a bully. He did not like you. Oh, he hated me. Yeah. Dude, there were four hits on the fucking board. He's like, oh, take another shot, take yeah. another shot. I heard him call me a fatty. That was a nice. Mm. Um, there's just like a lot of things. I thought it was. Um, I, don't like say I'm good with kids, you know, but I, you know, I'm fairly okay with kids. Yeah. That kid did not like me. Mm. Well, he hated me. He made me cry. Hmm. How, how's Syracuse going feel a little better, Frank? You had a great time in the game yesterday. The best Syracuse did not look good, but you had fun, I can tell. Yeah, the, I mean, uh, it would have been better to see them get some uh, runs. They hit the ball hard, though, uh, some of them, and just. And I was disappointed to see Khalil Lee in the lineup. I want him gone as soon as possible. What does he hit better than the ball? Oh, uh, the only thing he knows how to hit is his girlfriend. Oh, zing! I mean, this guy strikes out every time he comes to the plate. He just whiff, whiff, whiff. I mean, uh, I, 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 they, they cut him for the 40-man roster. This is just cut him, period. This guy is going to be, like you said earlier, like this guy's going to be an Uber driver in like two years, clearly. Yeah, if he's not in jail. Yes, if he's not yeah. in jail. And Frank just viscerates these people. I think well, this, I will say, Khalil Louie, though, I have no problem with Frank going to right now. He seems like a bad human. Hey, can you have a little water? You don't mind? I appreciate that. Yeah, I'm dying over here. And we're watching David uh, Peterson having another David Peterson like performance. Now, Frank, I gotta call you out here. You said beforehand this would not be a, a particularly successful road trip. You said, I think you said five and five, right? Yeah. Oh, it's just that's not too bad, but they exceeded your expectations. They even exceeded mine. Their Mets look great this week. Yeah, they've great. had great. They've had a good road trip. Of course. J.D. Davis has been good. Of course. He's not a Mets. I know, but they, you didn't see the yeah, I know. right there? I know. They had J.D. Davis and Darren Ruff next to each other. Pretty cool. <sighs> David, D David Peterson couldn't hit the broad side of a fucking barn. I mean, he couldn't hit water if it fell out the fucking boat. Peterson's the weakest part of this rotation, and I think it's time, you know, the Mets need to take a look. So, when Verlander comes back, uh, I hope, I hope McGill stays in the rotation. And at this point, we're kind of hoping Lucchese I has mean, a spot somewhere. I mean, Joey Lucchese yesterday was something else. And he's left-handed, and uh, he actually knows how to throw a baseball. <laughs> you know, David, uh, 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 hey, David, did, hey guys, uh, at XL Taco, if David Peterson keeps pitching like this, he might be coming back and <laughs> charge for full price. <laughs> no discounts. No discounts. <laughs> I think, uh, yeah, so we're chasing a great. Peterson has, I think it's, I mean, as much as I keep waiting for him to be good, like, it never it happens. Just never, and at it some point, it's like, happened. all right, what, maybe this guy is a good, better long man in the bullpen. Maybe he, he's better for that kind of spot because. It's just hasn't hit for him. I mean, uh, it, uh, he's got one out, bases loaded, as we're watching here in the first inning, and uh, he's falling behind every batter. Of course, there was one error, but I don't even know if you called it an error, but it looked like an error. Bases loaded, one out. He's thrown at least 20 pitches already. This fucking hot sauce is so hot right now. One run in. Could have oh, been more. So I kind of want to bring a, um, I want to bring a new segment to the show. Okay. I, I loved it. Uh, Frank just became a surprise guest on my show maybe 20 minutes ago, 
And uh, how it started was, he wasn't even supposed to be a guest. Me and Mike were just recording. Shout out Mike and Mike at night. Make sure you guys uh, watch that. Uh, we were is just. This is some, some weird plug for your show. Unit? This was the weird plug. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. We could, we could do a double play and plug both. That's a great idea. Don't forget to watch Double Play on the Lights Gear Barstool Network. We, Brand Walker and I, cover the best and worst of sports movies each and every episode. Don't miss Double Play. So, so you're saying that you uh, you you one movie that's good and the other one's a dog? That's right. And you know, you want to make your dog happy with Bark Box. Make your dog happy with Bark Box. Two twos, two treats, and a toy. I got everything that's in there, but you know, there's a whole bunch <laughs> of stuff. Two treats shipped directly to you. <laughs> two toys and a chew shipped directly to, to you. you. All right, there you All right go. yeah, there we go. So uh, you go to barkbox.com uh, slash uh, tank, yep. and uh, you'll get an extra fee extra month. That's right. So make your dog happy at Barkbox. Yes, that's right. Uh, so yeah, so Frank was. Uh, we we're doing the show, and every time I was talking about something trendy, Frank looked at me like he had something to say, and it kept it kept distracting me. And I was like, you know what, Frank, you just want to come on the show? Now, the new segment is trending with Tank. So what the idea is is I'm going to go to Twitter and see the top ten things that are trending. Okay. Ask Frank about them and see his reaction. Okay. Pretty easy, simple. All right. So first thing. I uh, can't wait till we hit. Topics like racism and well, let's and start with number or, one. Uh, for the people who haven't even seen the the first clip, we'll start with number one trending: Earth Day. Frank, you think of Earth, Earth Day? <laughs> well, Earth Day was uh, is, is 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 a communist holiday. It's just a matter of fact that the first Earth Day was celebrated on uh, April twenty second, nineteen seventy. It was a Wednesday. Why would you celebrate Earth Day on a Wednesday? That. April 22nd, 1970, happened to be the 100th birthday of Vladimir Lenin, founder of the Soviet Union. By the way, what famous sporting event took place on April 22nd, 1970? Oh. And it's for nothing. Oh, no. He stinks. I told you, this is the game we were going to lose in the four games. He is a bum. A bum! I mean, the only game they won with him was Monday. Every game he has pitched, they have lost. He is a fucking bum! Look at this. He hit it into the water. In fact, he hit it in the water, the boat is sinking. And he doesn't even give him any. So they have to waste their fucking bullpen because he fucking sucks. And the game is on Fox. You can't also know this. Did you see the thing? Did you have the thing blowing up and the yeah. fireworks? Yeah. <laughs> and he had this. Yeah, yeah, right. And he had to he had to take that New York, and he had the, the tomahawk and said, and, the, and the John Smoltz is up there going, 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 oh baby, baby, it's so fun to watch the Mets lose. In fact, the Mets haven't won a game on Fox uh, in, the, in five years. When it's on Fox, when it's on Fox, when it's on Fox, John Smoltz said, there's nothing. Hey, my friend. Hey, did you see John Smoltz? Go on, just go, go on. <laughs> John Smoltz is laughing up there. I almost. I had this thing like if I could tune the Frank out while watching a sports game it would be amazing, but I was this close and then as soon as he said Fox News makes me want to ask you the question, what channels do you like? You don't like ESPN, you don't like Fox, can't talk about CNN here. Well, <laughs> what, what, what channels do you like? You mean the Communist News Network? Yes, yes, that's exactly what I meant, for sure. What about uh, uh, MS, uh, LSD? MSLSD? Why do you call it MSLSD? Because you have to be on LSD to watch it. Oh, okay. Yeah, thanks. What's your favorite uh, news channel, Chris? I have gotten so disenfranchised from politics and the like, TV news. I don't watch news anymore. I, or no, channel. I shouldn't even say news channel. What's your favorite channel? Oh. Go-to channel. I don't know if I have one anymore. That's a good question. Yeah, yeah. yeah honestly, the pretty now is in streaming. And that just exposed my ADD. This is how far away we got from the segment. Hey, Frank, number two trending. Uh, HBO. 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 Yeah, me too. HBO guy for sure. HBO guy for sure. Uh, number two, the Sixers are trending. These are fucking Brooklyn Nets have no fucking heart. I mean, good God. I, I, I mean, there is no Joel Embiid, and you got blown off your own court. We will not see the Brooklyn Nets play another playoff game this decade. Garen fucking Tia. I know it's gonna happen, Frank. You're gonna end up rooting for the Knicks in the next year when the Nets sweep the Knicks out of the playoffs. You are just gonna be just a shell of yourself. It, the Nets will never, never 
win an auto playoff series. Never ever. They have no heart. They are a clueless organization. They will not sign any players. Mikael Bridges will not stay in Brooklyn. He is not a star. He's not a player you build around. There is nobody to take the build around. They are not going to draw anybody. They're not going to sign anybody. And they have no draft picks. They are going to be horrible, terrible, they awful. They have draft picks. They're they going to be draft picks. That's just like That's the not. Sacramento Kings took them 18 years to make the playoffs. They're going to be hopeless. They're going to be the new Sacramento Kings. They're going to be they're, they're like the Orlando Tragic. They have draft picks, though. Why are you getting mad if you're not even a fan? I'm just <laughs> <laughs> I'm just stating facts. Just stating facts. I never seen you state facts about like the Atlanta Hawks. Like yeah, you never get this like yeah. Passion about the Indiana, Indiana Pacers. <laughs> never yeah. about the Orlando Magic. So you mean the Orlando Tragic? Uh, yes, I do. Uh, the Orlando. Okay. But, the, but the Nets do have picks though. No, they don't. They do, Frank. They're twenty fifth. Frank, who did they just trade Kyrie Irving for? What did they trade uh, Durant for? They got picks back. Late first round picks. They're when well, they're going to be. Listen, when they lose 60 games next season, that draft pick goes to the Houston Rockets. How about in four years when they have they still have that Suns pick? The Suns will still be good. Yes. Durant will be long gone by that. There's a team in Orlando that's not very good. They can't play a game. They won't win today. Every star wants to leave as soon as they arrive. It's a shitty team after all. 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 The Orlando Tragic won't. Win. I just got done. <laughs> that's right, that's the live audience of Allow Me to Be Frank. So, uh, our first time having a shout out to the first time right. doing it live. This is actually amazing. This is so, great. And uh, we have to give a quick shout out once again for this all be possible to Exo Taco, Tequila and Bar, Hot Hot Sauce, and uh, yeah, from uh, Barstool Sports. So, there you go. So. When people can get this hot stuff, hot sauce, I'm right to their home. Yeah, I'm mine. Uh, and as I said, I'm when David sorry. Peterson comes in here in uh, two weeks after he's uh, sent back down to Syracuse, where he, where he should uh, definitely be spending uh, some quality time, charge him extra. Frank, that's cruel. That's mean, Frank. That's wild. That's mean. Well, a surcharge? Yes. For being an asshole? <laughs> Bad at pitching? All right, let's see uh, if we got anything else trending yet. Um, Phil Jackson's trending. Why? He, uh, you don't want to know why. He, 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 uh, mm. he, he well, let's just say he's not a fan of the, uh, the slogans on, on the floors, the new slogans since the bubble. You mean like the advertisements? Yes, like the uh, Black Lives Matter slogans. He doesn't like that? Scumbag. I mean, not scumbag, but like, he's actually the Zen guy. I think this trending thing is a dangerous, dangerous thing. We're gonna start drinking in the water. Well, that's why I said just. We don't sports. typically swim in. Yeah. Well, yeah. You, you know what? You know what it is. Just do sports. It's 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 it's, 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 it's triangles. There there's just not enough triangles on the court, so he's upset. It was that wild sense. him going to the Knicks, right? Like that was isn't that a crazy time? I'd like to move, and I feel like they just gave him a little bit more of a chance. No, no, I, no, no, he, no, no, he no, gave no. him past the I'm, I'm a Phil Jackson homer. No, uh, Phil Jackson was an amazing head coach. Yeah. One of the, probably the but best the problem ball. was Phil Jackson, when uh, they started doing these, uh, that three-point kind of, three shot became the, the rage, that triangle didn't work anymore, and uh, he kept trying to force to uh, play 1990s basketball. Mm -hmm. In an era which you can't do that anymore. Well, yeah, I mean, once Steph Curry changed the game, it was changed forever. Now, now, of course, you uh, can even argue like D'Antoni and like uh, Steve Nash, like that even expedited change in expedited it for sure. Yeah, now, uh, but that changed the game past the triangle. Though. Quick pull up shot. Yes. Yeah. I mean, now, you know what I mean. Now, I mean, yeah. now of course, right. of course, uh, it's easy to do a triangle uh, offense and look like a genius when you have uh, the great players you have on your team. Yeah, like Jordan Pittman or like Shaq Kobe. Kobe. By the way, we might get a and perfect Gasol. game today. I don't think it's going to happen, Frank. You think this is going to be a perfect game? Yes. So what inning are we in? Second. That's right. Okay, <laughs> for sure. That makes so much sense. Mets look feeble today. Uh, it's called the David Peterson effect. Just seeing him on the mountain makes everyone feel depressed. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I thought only during Carrasco starts. Like whenever I bought a ticket and knew it was a Carrasco game, it was like, oh no. 
Oh, um, Coach Prime is, is trending right now. Uh, so the the, uh, the outcome of the, the, the fans from last year to this year. Okay. Yeah, there was a uh, spring practice game, and there actually were snow practice. fights, a snowball fight. Uh, there were these stands were actually <laughs> actually full. Wow! I, I'm telling you, he's the uh, the, uh, the the uh, Buffalo, the Colorado is going to go six and six this year and be bowl eligible, and in two years they're going to be challenging for the Pac-12 uh, uh, championship. He did a great job in his last spot, that's for mm -hmm. sure. So I, I I wouldn't put anything against him. I mean, that's a program that's been. Just dead for 30 years. So you, uh, Knicks, your Knicks won? Good win last night by the Knicks. Are uh, we calling him your Knicks? He said, he said he's there for well, the playoffs. For, for the playoffs. Okay, all right. He's already taken him in. All right. I mean, they've won two more playoff games this year than the Nets won the last two seasons combined. I, I guess that's true, right? Swept last year, swept this year. Yeah. I love how crazy the Knicks fans get after every playoff. I know. It is my favorite thing in the world. This Knicks fan number two, you know, Bulls fan first, Knicks fan second. I've often said you're number two. Yeah. You know what they? Uh, you know what the Knicks do uh, when they when they win a playoff game? Here you go, Mikey. Have some of that. Actually, I don't know what they do. The, 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 both fans, uh, the two fans they have left, just get on the train. And, um, Wow, that's mean, Frank. Wait, what? The yeah. Knicks, no, I will say this, no, there's no one the New York City rallies around more than the Knicks. There's no team that I feel like, you have the whole city, like, when the Nets left not New Yankees, Jersey, not anyone, not when the, the Nets left New Jersey, they took their heart, they took their identity, and that's why they fucking suck. It's wild how, it was living in New York, like, how few people care about the Nets. Like they don't, they don't get talked about. You see very few people wearing like Nets merchandise anywhere. And even this is back when Durant was in the team. Like you just didn't have Nets have just never had that excitement. Which is, I think, the real reason that uh, Joe Side decided to trade everyone. I, I know uh, Kyrie is a headache, but I think uh, it just it dawned on him that no matter what he does, they'll never have more fans than the Knicks. Oh, they're the close. You never have half as many fans. And uh, that is why you will never see the Nets sign another star player. Well, then why own the team at all then, Frank? I don't know if that's his philosophy. But why even have a team? Suppose, he actually said he might have a bunch of, uh, he might have a bunch of uh, just uh, part-time players trying their hardest even if they don't win. Is that what his quote was? Yo, yeah, I missed that one. He actually, it sounds like it might be a Frank quote. He actually says something like that. <laughs> no. Something like no. that. Nothing at all like that. Frank facts. Yes. Frank no, fact. this one is actually true. Oh. It is true. Look at this. Uh, Matt said, Mets batting average by position. Danny Book. Catcher last. Third base last. Uh, DH, DH yeah. last. Yeah, that's so it's a problem. The, the DH spot in particular is a real problem with this team. Vogelback just Danny hogs Bugs. up the roster. Uh, he can only play against righties. He can't play defensively. I think that you have to make a move with Vogelback for, before the deadline. You want um, him out already after, yeah. I, no, I mean, he was there last year, but like, the, just, he just, you only have 26 people on a roster. So many of those guys are pitchers, uh, and not only that, but he, he, can only, he can't play defense. He can't run. So he's useless on the bench, he's only a pitch hitter. And if he's not hitting home runs, if he's not mashing the ball, he's not worth anything. I'd rather see him put up Dave Kingman stats than walk as many times as he's walked. I don't mind the walks, I'm a big on base percentage guy, so I don't mind that. I just don't like that, I said he can't play for a second. He literally, he's completely useless, you know, 30% of the time. Here we go, Frank. Let's hit well. Oh my he, god. Oh, no. oh nice, 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 nice. Okay. Uh, Vogel back, we're sorry. For people watching. Danny just Bug. hit a double. Uh, drove in a run there. Yes, that was it almost made a catch. Danny Bug is on some food. He's hungry, Danny Bug. Yes, that was it almost made that catch. Who is that? Michael Conforto. That's right. right. Catch a fucking cold. Michael Conforto. Well, he didn't catch that either, though, man. <laughs> was like caught it. You can't catch Danny Bug is. That was, uh, uh, that was hit into the deepest part of... What do you keep, what do you try to shoot on in here? What is this? <laughs> you don't know Danny... Danny Bug is. You don't know? You've never know. seen the video? There's a guy that like always like, every time he hits a home run, he goes, it's Danny Bug is. Wow, Bobo Bob. 
watch it maybe? Okay. Stay trending? I uh, guess so, yeah. yeah. Next time. Yeah, I missed that one. What yeah. else is I mean, it made the whole room die in laughter, so I'm sure everyone else has seen it. I, I, I mean, you know what? I will have People can't stop talking about Danny Burger. Frank was suspicious. Yeah, that's how I'm rolling his eyes. No one knows the fuck you're talking about. Yeah. That's a fucking dick. I'm sorry. All right. You know, we're teasing you 10 more times, people still won't know what the fuck you're talking about. I guess you're right. I guess you're right. What's up, Frank? What else is trending? <laughs> Yankees wind is trending. Well, they haven't been doing that much this year. I mean, yeah, they have been. What's the record? They're like 13 and 8. After today, I didn't say, yeah. It's pretty, that's, that's, that's winning. I don't like the Yankees. I'm but, like, what are we talking about here? But, uh, I mean, they had a walk off win today. Uh, they haven't exactly uh, torn the cover off the ball so far. No, I but mean, they, they're 13 8, but that's a, they're on pace to win 100 games. It's a 619 winning percentage. I guess, but. Uh, what do you mean, <laughs> guess? That's, a, that's, that's a, a guess. That's a fact. fact. I'm, so, I'm telling you, that's really a statistical fact, yeah. The Yankees are look very good. Garrett Cole's a, the best pitcher in baseball. I don't, I don't like the Yankees. He's been getting Yankees. shit out in the last two years. The Yankees defend the Yankees now. And now Brad Brady's in a slump. Everyone, everyone just. How come the Mets. Every time the rookies come up, they come up and they. Shut up! And then the Brady's up, come up, back comes up. He just signed off the street. He was a bad boy. He's 36 years old. He's never hit a pitch, but he's batting 1090. He's got 10 home runs in his first 11 at bats. Picked up. No, yeah, I, I agree. Thousand percent. What? What? Oh, okay, so you're wearing the salted it. potato hat, and we found out Syracuse is named the Salt City. Yes. Which Frank? The Salt, salt City. Salt City. <laughs> well, <laughs> the uh, these manufacture a lot of salt in here. That's, oh. that's why. Um, and uh, salt potatoes are something very popular here, right? Never even seen a salt potato, so I don't even know what it is. It's, it's like, it's, it's got this potato, he look, uh, looks pretty angry. He's got a fork, he's Can got the camera? butter. And uh, the Mets occasionally play as a salt potatoes, which is better than the... Uh, a lot of these minor league teams have come up with new nicknames and stuff, but... I gotta say, the Syracuse Mets have the most boring uniforms and the most boring logo. It's just the shape of New York. And now the scoreboard looks good. The scoreboard looks really good. It's got the shape of New York with a Long Island on there too. And it looks good. But the logo just says, there's the shape of New York with the word Syracuse Mets written over. I mean, that's the same that font as the Mets. Yeah. It seems yeah. it's very boring. Yeah. Even the S, I'm not a big fan of the S on the S. I mean, no. It's... You got see, the, the Mets got a uh, minor league team called the, uh, the Rumble Ponies. Yep. They're just right, right that's now. That's funny. That's good. It's a good name. Being on some rumble ponies. <clears throat> you tell me you couldn't come up with a better nickname for Syracuse. I mean, I mean you're wearing one right now. Like yeah. a salted potato, that's fun. Yeah. I mean, we got a train that you, you can see over the ballpark wall. I mean, something like train, something like that, and something off a train. I mean, there's so many Syracuse things. Syracuse tanks? Tank engines? No, Frank the Tank? Maybe. Thomas the tank, or Thomas the Tank. We, they, were, uh, the, the, this, they, they had the Syracuse. Uh, Chiefs. Chiefs for many years, but you know, do can't do that anymore. You know, uh, I hear they want. I hear Peter wants to get rid of all uh, animal nicknames too. Mm -hmm. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah. Really? Wow. Yeah, that does make sense. It's Peter. <laughs> <laughs> I got, I got you. Gotcha. <laughs> well, it actually that is actually true. They said that and that nickname nickname teams after animals is exploitive. Wow. Well, the, know, the poor rumble ponies. Hopefully they'll. They'll be able to overcome such horrible, but our rumble horrible ponies. treatment. Just ponies that rumble, hungry stomachs. I actually, I, I actually think it's like an amusement park ride. It's like a, like the horse that you like. Uh, I thought that was a carousel horse. Yeah. It did no, but remember when you were a kid, you put like twenty five cents and you could like ride the horse. Oh, that is a rumble pony. Okay. Jennifer Connelly uh, is in, in a movie riding a horse, which is a fantastic gift. If anyone wants to look at Jennifer Connelly, which who doesn't typically? You're Italian. I am twenty five percent Italian. There you go. Yes. There you go. Explains it. Explains it. Jennifer Connelly go up there? No, that you're a pervert. That's not a pervert. Yeah, it's a pervert. That's not a pervert. Yeah, no, no, Jennifer Connelly. No, you can, you can. I know, you're not a pervert. You're Italian. You're not a pervert. I know. That's what I just said. I no, had to I will never feel embarrassed or ashamed about this. For sure. About, about uh, admiration the, uh, for Jennifer Connelly. You, you know, the AHL team in Syracuse is the Syracuse Crunch. That's right. And they play at the same arena that 60 years ago was home to the Syracuse Nationals. Actually, 70 years ago now. And, and the Nationals, you said last night, won a 1955 NBA championship. How? And David Peterson just continues to yeah, just get, get rocked. Roped. 
Yeah. He, he stays right. Um, what if we have the pennies? I'd like to. I think he'd suck the air too. He just fucking sucks. <coughs> you know who he is? He's gonna take his dress and go, I'm Cory Oswald! <laughs> Cory Oswald! And he's gonna bring back Jared Eikhoff too. Cory Oswald has a tattoo on his chest that says, I heart losing. And he, and he comes out. Every time he loses, he, he he gives up a homer. He actually like 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 does the cha cha on the mound. Oh. He he says that Corey Oswalt says that, that look at this another fucking error. Oh, another error. This loss is going to be so bad. The match is going to go on a ten game losing streak. This is Dan Peterson. What? If anybody wonders where Frank is at Exo Taco. <laughs> yeah, luckily all Syracuse now knows. Come to Exo Taco for a meet and greet. Jeez, all right. Uh, I, 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 just, I know we got in the show soon, but I, I just can't wait to have these people. Oh, Frank, I'm so happy to see you. He's like, fuck David Peterson! <laughs> we're at the Devils. Look at this. He did Peter Lonzo just got set on the trainers are out there looking. That's not true. David Peterson. 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 It's literally it's it's not not happy. Happy. It's nothing out there like that. People twice! Twice he's thrown a ball that almost hurt Van Payne and Pete Alonso. You know who he is? He's Darren Ruff's the, the Sabotage Twin! Darren Ruff's Sabotage Twin. Why don't they have the same last name? <laughs> look at this. Ball! Look at this. I, I love you saying, look at this. No one can see it! Yeah. <laughs> no one can see this! <laughs> <laughs> it's happened in the past. It happened. I feel like that. Uh, that's not how this works. Look at the way they did. They look at the way they do. They just every time he throws the ball, they go. They hand it. Then this John John Smoltz score out there and go. You see, this is what the Mets are better. This is what the Mets are better. This is what the Mets are better. John Smoltz. Are we watching the same game? <laughs> <laughs> Frank, you want to do one last turning question? Uh, yeah. Or, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> And the fucking Devils, by the way. Yeah. They're gonna get tonight, I prediction. Rangers 11. Wow. Devils, nothing. Oh. No shots on goal. No. And next year, the Devils are gonna go 0-82. Yes. You don't think they go in, they're all kidding aside. You don't think they go in one game? Nope. Oh. They, 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 yesterday, they didn't even practice. They said that, said that uh, it was a fun season, but the Rangers are just so much better than them. And that, that we just, we just, we just, we just, we just hope we don't lose too bad. And it, 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 that they were sorry. And that we just, we didn't belong here. Um, all right, so trending, uh, last thing, Frank, is Steve Martin. Steve Martin is trending because he said, I no longer have a blue check mark, but I would appreciate if, you, you guys told me that you still see it. I really need this. I'm just kidding. I know. Yeah, Steve Martin's great. That's a great team. Yeah, yeah, Steve Martin's yeah. a genius. Yeah. I don't, I'm a Steve Martin fan. Unlike uh, the like, Dozen guy? No, not not his best work. Great book, uh, Born Standing Up. If you're looking for a good book to read, uh, uh, it's, it's a biography of Winnie the Stand Up. Fantastic. Uh, unlike Alessio Milano. This is a tragedy. <laughs> this is a country so evil. Your country, you know, China is so good and so right and so just. It's evil! It's evil! You know, this is just a Donald Trump and Elon Musk. It's evil! Whose idea was to set this up during the Mets game, I wonder? Was this was this your was, was Why this, was this planned ahead of time? Oh, I, I had no idea the match was going to be honest. I actually I looked at the app last night and you I'm like, oh what time? Oh my god, oh, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they have uh no, Alyssa, Alyssa Milano. I saw it was people. <laughs> <laughs> For just eight dollars a day, uh, eight dollars a month, though, Frank, you can uh, you can save a celebrity and pay for their check mark. Look at this! You're just pummeling Peterson. This guy fucking sucks. He is a goddamn motherfucking bum, bum. When he comes to Exo Taco in a few weeks. Refuse him service. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! I don't think that's illegal, Frank. I don't think you can do that. Actually, it is. The owner can deny. Yeah, but, yeah put a picture of David when he gets sent down. Put a picture on the wall. David Peterson not welcome here at Exo Taco. Should leave a note for him and have the owner give it to him. Like, just fucking stay. Get off this team. We don't want you here. You fucking suck. You fucking bum. 
And, and, and if he keeps pitching like this, he better be fucking back in Syracuse really fucking soon. Do we need to wrap up the show? Oh, well, I was just going to say, uh, we are going to wrap up the show because uh, we are about to go do the live show. It's a, a sky high event. It's going to be very fun. Speaking of the sky, make sure you guys uh, check out discounted tickets for the Chicago Sky WNBA mm -hmm. promo code uh, Frank the Tank. Frank WNBA. Oh, it? Frank WNBA. There you go. You'll get discounted tickets for the W uh, for the Chicago Sky on Ticketmaster. So go ahead and check that out. And uh, yeah, so. This has been a lot of me to prank prank out. That was a good troll by Nito. Uh, and Darren Ruff's up here. Darren Ruff's going to hit a two on homer. Darren fucking see it. Any song for Darren Ruff on the way out, Frank? Well, I got a song for uh, David Peterson. Okay. Bum, 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 bum. He is a motherfucking bum. Can't pitch it all. Ruining the fucking season. Click like, subscribe. <laughs> <laughs>